Hello, so this question, quite a few people have been asking me about this, so I think it warranted uh, its own video. So we've got this seesaw, and the, the problem is this joint, it says they're joined together um, at their ends, and the question is how are they joined? There's two real options, is that maybe they're like welded together, or there's a there's sort of a, a plate that you've screwed into both planks. But if you were doing that, then why tell us about the joint? Why not just say it's essentially a 10 meter plank? So that doesn't make sense. Like, there's no reason for you to tell me about the joint there. So therefore, it's more likely, although it should have been clearer in the text, that this is a hinged joint. So in effect, if Robert was heavy enough, or if indeed Poppy and Quentin were light enough, it could end up like sinking in the middle obviously still actually on the pivot, it's just bad drawing, um, and then these people lifting up it, it could bend in uh, as Robert's weight pushes it down, potentially. So if that's true, then we've basically got two separate um, levers, two separate seesaws uh, to worry about. Uh, obviously we can put some forces on now, we've got Poppy, uh, so PG, because she weighs P, and Quentin weighs QG. Um, we've got the reaction forces here, we'll call this R1 and R2, for the reaction forces there. And then what do we do about Robert? Now, one idea is that, well, everything's symmetrical, so 5 metres there, 5 metres there, 2 away from both sides. Robert obviously just weighs 80, and he's in the middle. So surely Poppy and Quentin must weigh the same. Well, no. And if we just think about that generally, people don't weigh exactly the same. Like, they might be close, but they're not going to be exactly the same. But of course, Robert, he's got a foot on each side. He doesn't necessarily have to be stood right in the middle. He could be lean slightly, you know, like putting your, more of your weight on one foot than the other. So what we need to do is we need to split his weight. Some of his weight is going to come down here. We'll call, we can't use R for Robert, because we've used that. So let's call him Bobby. So, or Bert, maybe. So, B on the P side, and then some of his weight, B on the Q side. And they're not going to be equal. They're not 40 kilos each, 40 G each, because they, he could be, like, leaning one side more than the other. Now, we will need to put a G on that, because those are still mass, um, not, not his uh, weight. So, we need the G on for each side. And now we can do each seesaw separately. So if we do the R1, you know, the poppy seesaw, if we take moments around the pivot, then we don't need to worry about that force. So we don't need to do the resolving up and down. And we can say that PG times 3, so 3PG, three equals 2GBP. Okay, well, let's get rid of those Gs, because no one wants those. Um, and then... We'll do the same for the Qs, and it's going to look pretty much the same because of the symmetry. So 3Q, I'm going to miss out the Gs, equals 2BQ. So I've just cancelled the Gs already because I've bothered. Okay, now this is getting close, but of course we want P plus Q. We don't want what, we can't work out what P is or Q is. Um, we just want them together, P and Q. So let's add the whole thing together. 3P plus 3q, adding the left-hand side gets 3p plus 3q. Adding this side gets 2bp plus 2bq. Now we can factorise this, so we can say 3p plus q is 2bp plus bq, but hang on, we know what that is, because that's Part of the weight he's got on one side and part of the weight he's got on the other side added together, which equals his actual weight. Well, that's his mass, as we cancel the Gs. So we know that that's 80. So we can now say P, P plus Q is 2 times 80, and then divide by that 3. And I think if you work that out, it should be 53. It's a sneaky question, not because of the hinge, is the fact they didn't tell us it was a hinge. And I suspect a lot of people have tried to treat that as one big bar, which doesn't really work. I tried that myself, and you had resolving forces. You end up just proving zero is zero. Once you know it's a hinge, 
the bit that you need to know as a as a good mathematician for your exams for you know doing your mechanics is that the two components of robert's mass or weight on each seesaw don't have to be the same and if they're hinged then they don't have to react to each other yeah that one can just that could stay perfectly steady whilst that one moves now it can't because you know if that moves it's physically going to move down which is going to but it doesn't it's not going to in the moment of equilibrium it's it's not affecting each other because the hinge is uh, just keeping robert up it's not and keeping them connected it's not applying a force across it so you can have the different weights as soon as you realize that then i think that unlocks the question anyway that's my ideas seems to have worked my way if you've got a different way of solving that uh, or if you've got some more questions, you can put them in the comments. But otherwise, ta for now.